Hello, Tungsten Miner here. Today I am making a trip to Utumno, the uh, version of hell for Middle Earth. You can see bouncing around in the background is a partner of mine. We're going to both go down and uh, see what we find there. Let's jump in. Cold is. Maybe it's the snowstorm. Yeah, doesn't help. Okay, so what we're seeing here is this humongous structure that uh, is the entrance to Utumno. And here is the pit itself. Jumping down here will ultimately drop you straight into the dimension, which is Utumno. We're going to jump in together, and that way we'll teleport to roughly the same location. Uh, but every time you go in there, you wind up in a completely different place. So don't count on anything that you've done before being available to you. And in particular, if you lose your stuff down there, well, you're probably never going to find your grave. So take a friend. Ready? Yep. Let's go. One, two, three. Ah, that, I thought the let's go was our cue. <laughs> Hopefully we both showed up together. Yes, we did. Okay. So one thing that's worth knowing is uh, you can't break any bricks here with conventional equipment. But if you happen to have a wand or a staff with an excavation focus, you are able to break some bricks. So that's a good thing to make sure you bring with you on your first occasion. Uh, it will not only help you uh, get around in the maze, but a lot of this material has got resources that only can be found on things that are here. So for example, um, that Utumno aspect is something you can only get uh, from very rarely found items or from bricks that are found here. But in particular, there's a number of bricks here that give you alienus, which is not available in Middle Earth under most circumstances. So it's very handy to come here to get it. So as you can see, Alcyonestus is uh, carving the way for us here. So we're keeping a watchful eye out because there are a lot of enemies that can appear here, although they don't spawn terrifically often. Well, we have some here around the corner. Oh, uh, yeah, look at that. So this is a snow troll, and he's throwing snowballs at us. <laughs> you would expect hell to have a lot more fearsome enemies, but there you go. <laughs> so what we have to do in order to get to the uh, next level down is to find enough ice keys in fact, ice key pieces that were able to assemble them. So I brought with me an obsidian key shaft, which I found on our first trip to Atumno. But what we're doing right now is looking around for enough enemies to be able to build an ice key. That will allow us to create an opening in the floor that will take us down to the next level deeper. Shall we drop down? We want to jump down all the way to the... May as well. Huh. So it's, I think, necessary, yes, to um, use the key in the bottommost level. That's why we have to be yes. down here, ultimately. Yes. It's also just nice to not worry about being able to fall further. Yeah. So the two of us are wearing um, the mm -hmm. Thomcraft uh, Fortress armor, as well as the Boots of the Meteor from... Oh, I forgot. Whoa. Hello. Uh, I forget which mod it is. Uh, Thomas Tinker, uh, I want to say. Tinker, yes. Uh, I found some mithril and I found a key shaft for this level. Ah, fortunately, I already had that. The key right. bit is what. Uh, I'm missing. Sorry, the which part? The key bit. So I have the key shaft and the key handler. Ah, okay. 
But as I'm you sure can see also... with us walking around, uh, here's an important piece. This is how you get home again. So what yes. happens with these things is as you kill enemies Watch nearby, out you. Yeah, I see him. Wait. you can see that uh, this has now raised up off the floor just a teeny bit. And those little bluish kind of particles going into it. Uh, yeah, so why don't you bring some of those guys back down here. We'll demonstrate this a bit more. So I'm going to stay here so we can keep an eye on this. And now Cyanestis is going to... Yep, get Lure back some back people back. And then keep an eye if you can still see it. Ooh, I'm not in good shape. Okay, so you can see this block has gotten quite a lot taller and you can see against it the brick behind there that it's barely halfway up. So what that means is we're going to have to keep attracting more enemies and kill them within five or six meters of this block. It's really pretty small. Um, and that will allow us to keep growing this thing taller and taller until it gets to be one meter tall. At which point, a halo of light will come down around it. And if you step into the halo of light, which is about three meters or so wide, you'll be able to escape from Atumno. So um, on your first trip, it may be a good plan to just uh, set yourself up to hang out near one of these things, scare up some enemies, attract them back again, and once you've done that, open up your portal so that you've got something to go back to to get out again. All right, this is as good a place as any. Seems mostly safe. So I've dropped you the three bits and I already got the shaft, so I think. I take sure. each of these, put them all into my crafting grid and I get a key of ice. I take my key of ice and I right click on the ground and stand back. And you can see it's kind of yeah, smashed a hole in the floor here, which is going to give us a very, very narrow spiral staircase, which takes us down into the next level. So this level, obviously different bricks, different look to it in general. Uh, if I turn off my night vision, you can see it's uh, even a little bit darker, uh, which is still saying something. <laughs> but um, we've got some enemies over here, actually. So it's the same drill here. Um, enemies are yeah, about the same, not much different. There's some different varieties of work, like the one that you just yeah. sent falling down to his <laughs> He's all the way down there. Um, there are the tormented elves here. Yep, and here's a tormented elf. We'll go look at him. So we can see he's uh, not friendly, uh, but... If you know your Silmarillion, you'll know that the orcs came from uh, elves that were captured in the very earliest days of the First Age and were tormented in the pits of Otumno, where we are now, until they gradually became orcs. What's so up behind? We are still in the position of uh, looking for the key for this level. And that's the, what, obsidian key? Whoa, this why is it hit by something? Sorry, what was that? Oh. Yes, this is the obsidian key here. Yep. So uh, I've got an obsidian key us. shaft, which nice. I can contribute to the cause. So, uh, I've also found a key shaft. That doesn't help us. <laughs> Fantastic. Shall we? Sure. So the reason we can do this and not get completely flattened upon arrival is that we're both wearing boots of the meteor. That explains the uh, fiery effects around our feet. Uh, one of the nice effects of that is that uh, you don't take any fall damage under any circumstances. Just We've fantastic. found some trolls, which are apparently in a piece of the cavern that is too short, <laughs> so they can't come and hurt us. <laughs> All right, let's find some semi-safe hallway. We can open it. You've got everything? 
Uh, yeah, I think you have two of the three. Okay. Here, so here's... Oh, okay, you want me to open it? I can do that. I, I figure you can craft it. <laughs> okay. Key of Obsidian. Another big boom. Another hole in the floor. Another opportunity to go deeper into Otumno. This is where the the one really dangerous mob can spawn. Yeah, so oh, the one thing you really, really have to watch out for is only found at this deepest level, and that's a Balrog. Okay, <laughs> got people following us down? No, they were just not the size of, the, of this large cavern. Okay, I kind of accidentally dropped down a bit. Oh, right yeah, troll. Whoa. Okay. So what I just did, that big jump you saw, was a uh, another feature of the boots of the meteor. By crouching and then jumping, you can propel yourself a really long ways. All right, this looks like a pretty safe place here. All right, so what we're going to do now is I've got my excavation focus, and this block right here. here, if I change to my uh, research uh, lens, you can see it's got alienus in there. That is extremely rare, um, pretty much everywhere in Middle Earth. So this is what we came here to find, is this particular tile. These orcs do have a lot of armor. Ooh, that's handy. No. We weren't exactly we looking for this, but we sort of tripped across an exit. So uh, what I'm going to do is bring up my map here, and I'm going to delete this and add this. So now I've got a waypoint on this exit, which means I'll be able to come back to it anytime I want. But what we really want to do is wander around until we find some enemies and draw them back to it. Because, of course, now we are on the lowest level and there's kind of no place else to go. There's no more keys. There's no other levels. We just need to be able to split when it is time. There, we found a Balrog. Oh, there he is. Right, right down this hall. And he's got a nice big whip. And there's a firework over there. Let's get rid of him first. Oh, boy. Oh. You okay? It's hurt. Yes. And we even killed him right on top of the exit. He should count at least for double. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did indeed get a Balrog whip. Nice. First time getting one of those. Watch out. There we go. Yep, stand back. Okay. So we both managed to step out of the way before the portal came down and uh, yeah. just scooped us up. So if you get too close to this thing, uh, when you open it, then you leave whether you're ready to leave or not. So at this point, we now have an exit which is activated and we can go at any time, but we can stay as long as we like. We have, there is one of those big empty rooms uh, over here. Oh, yeah? Or the big cavernous rooms. Well, let's go have a look. Yeah. Uh, these are, we've had some luck with Balrogs around here. Just giving them a room to spawn. Yeah, so as you've seen, uh, watchers of this video, it's uh, mostly kind of windy narrow caverns all over the place around here but uh, you do have these occasional large rooms where all of the caves kind of intersect and come together i think we're ready to go yeah i'm at the exit 
Yep. I'm fending off all sorts of uh, elves. Ready? One, two, and three. And here we are, back again in the overworld, outside in the cold, witnessing the Aurora Borealis. So at this point, I think uh, it's time to call it quits. We have made our trip into Autumno and made it back alive. So thank you, Alcyon Estes, for uh, going with me and <laughs> doing the heavy lifting. And I think thank that's you. it for now. Talk to you later. Bye.